If you walk down any pharmacy aisle, you'll see entire shelves of fish oil bottles claiming to, quote, support heart health. And maybe you've even thought, I don't eat much fish, so I'll just take a capsule. It's the same thing, right? No, not exactly. Most people don't realize that the difference between eating fish and taking fish oil supplements could mean the difference between protecting your heart or accidentally increasing your risk of an arrhythmia like atrial fibrillation. Let's break this down because the truth about fish and fish oil might actually surprise you. For years, supplement companies have marketed fish oil as liquid heart protection. And yes, early studies in the 1980s did suggest that omega-3s could reduce heart attacks, but those studies were done before people were taking modern statin drugs to reduce cholesterol, blood pressure medications, and anti-inflammatory drugs. Today, the evidence looks very different. Recent large randomized trials, like the STRENGTH and REDUCE IT trials, found that high-dose omega-3 supplements can actually increase your risk of having atrial fibrillation. That's right, the very thing people take to protect their heart may actually be triggering their heart to be irregularly in atrial fibrillation. Here's the second problem. Many people take fish oil and think they've checked the heart box. Oh, I don't need to eat healthy. I take my fish oil. But that pill doesn't come with the fiber, the potassium, the antioxidants, and the protein your body needs. In other words, you're skipping the real nutrients and keeping the calories that fuel heart disease. And finally, there's the problem no label will tell you. Fish oil supplements vary widely in quality. Some go rancid before you even buy them. Others have inaccurate dosages, hidden additives, or contaminants like mercury and PCBs. That's because there's no FDA requirement for purity testing, which means you could be swallowing spoiled oil every morning and not even know it. So if you're spending $30 a month on fish oil, the question isn't, is this helping? It's, why am I taking something that could actually be hurting me? Now for the good news. You can get all the heart protective benefits of omega-3s safely, naturally, and deliciously. How? By eating real fish, two to three servings per week of salmon, sardines, mackerel, trout, or even canned tuna in water actually provides the same omega-3s your body needs, but in their natural forms with protein, vitamin D, and no overdose risk. If you don't eat fish, use plant-based options. Flax seeds, chia seeds, walnuts, they provide ALA, a plant omega-3 that still supports your heart health. And if you and your doctor decide on a supplement, keep it low dose like 1,000 milligrams or less per day is usually safe for general health, not the 4,000 mega doses used in those risky studies, then you also want to check the quality. Only buy supplements certified by the USP, IFOS, and NSF for purity. And then you need to focus on the big picture. Eating a Mediterranean-style diet and exercising and managing your stress and controlling your blood pressure will protect your heart far more than any pill. So fish? Yeah. Fish oil? Uh, usually no. Your body knows the difference. So in summary, fish is food, fish oil is marketing, and your heart deserves more than clever packaging. If you found this video helpful, please share it with somebody you love, especially the friend who keeps bragging about their heart healthy fish oil capsules. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more clear, science-based videos about atrial fibrillation, heart rhythm, and overall heart health. For more resources, or to book a second opinion clarity consult, visit drscottlee.com. I'm Dr. Scott Lee, and remember, real food fuels real heart health. I hope this helps, and thanks for watching. For everything atrial fibrillation related, please feel free to go to my website, drscottlee.com, where you're gonna find more resources and also can follow me on social media.